On the boiler tips for the next few weeks, we're going to look at a variety of types of level controls. Um, we're going to look at the full gamut from mechanical floats to probe types, electromechanical, all-in-one low water cutoff devices, and even differential pressure transmitters. So basically what we're going to do is go through each of these, how they work, what their applications are, and in many cases how they're wired. Let's start with one of the simplest, a trough valve. Basically this is a float operated valve where the valve, due to buoyancy, rises on water rise and physically shuts off our valve. This is great in that I can go to Rural King and get a replacement if I need to, um, but it has its own benefits and drawbacks. Typically you're not going to use this for a boiler because it's not rated for the temperature and pressure. It's just not designed for it. But we often use it to maintain level in say a feed tank so that incoming water can maintain a minimum level in the tank. Um, one thing that's important with it, good to mention, is a pressure reducing valve. If we bring too much pressure into this float uh, valve, it's going to bleed through. So by having a pressure reducing valve on the inlet, we can maintain maybe 5 psi and the float doesn't have any difficulty in functioning correctly. To change the level in the tank, we simply loosen the set screw for the float angle and tighten it. One downside for this is that because the, all the mechanisms are inside the tank, in order to troubleshoot it, we may have to remove the bolts and mounting plate. So we're gonna have to drain the tank in order to get this out. So in short, an advantage is easy to find replacement parts. Downside is it's inside the tank, so we've got to pull it out or move it to troubleshoot.